In this presentation, we're going to talk about digital scrapbooking, what it is, and some tools to get this uh, job done. So digital scrapbooking is just another form of capturing uh, graphics, photos, using editing programs to design your pages. People are taking so many photos quickly and easily that they want a quick and fast and really cute way to display and share their images. Digital scrapbooking preserves memories in a less expensive, faster, and easily shareable format. And it's also quick and easy to store the scrapbooks on CDs and or DVDs. So digital scrapbooking is nothing new. It's been around for a while. Think of yearbooks, photo journaling. That's digital scrapbooking. Some curriculum-based scrapbooking projects include reflective learning, creating the timeline for an event, writing styles, class field trips, favorite piece of literature, posters, flyers for school events, historical events, maybe create an A to Z alphabet, alphabet book for younger kids, or just documenting events. Here's an example of a digital scrapbook page. A teacher project for digital scrapbooking would be like a back to school to end of the year scrapbook. Take pics from the first day of school to the last. You can create those scrapbook pages and then save those pages as images which can then be used in videos as well. We're going to talk a little bit about digital imaging formats, a JPEG. If you didn't know what that stands for, it is actually a Joint Photographic Experts Group. I like JPEG better. Okay, and it's uh, the default setting for most digital cameras. The format is compressed and the file is fairly small. You will lose pixels when saved each time. A TIFF is tagged image file format and this is the best choice for scanned images. It may take up more space than a JPEG, but they're not lossy. That means they won't lose pixels. This is actually uh, one of the preferred options for scrapbooking. A GIF, which is a graphic interchange format. These files are for online use where size is of primary, primary concern. Limited color choices and high compression, not really appropriate for digital scrapbooking. A ping or portable network graphic, graphic files were created in response to limitations with, with the GIF format. Ping files are lossless, which means they do not lose quality during editing. So when you decide to do a digital scrapbooking with everything else, you want to plan and prep for it. You want to decide on a theme or tone, gather all your images. A storyboard would be great to write a draft of any text items you will be using. And you can create a layout for each page. This can also be sketched or uh, you can create that layout on a storyboard as well. Working with images, when you're using images, you can either use images or photos that were taken by you or your students, use photos taken by parents. So if you have parents taking pictures at uh, school events, you can ask them to uh, give you a copy of those photos. Or you can use photos taken by someone else. Just remember copyright. Some great sites to use photos for education are Pics for Learning, Free Photo, PD Photo, and Photo Home. Now some great sites for clip art are Open Clip Art Gallery, Art Library, sorry, Public Domain Clip Art,
clicker.com and morgue file. Now when you have these images, you can also, you don't, you're not just limited to photos that are taken by you, your students, or photos that you have uh, gathered from the internet. You can also scan objects. So any object that fits in the scan bed can be scanned, such as patches, ribbons, awards. Here I have an example of a scrapbook page and some scanned items, objects, that can be used on this scrapbook page. So if it fits in the scan bed, you can use it as an image. You can also scan souvenirs and mementos that relate to your theme, like in the example shown here. So most people think that in order to create a great digital scrapbook they have to have this expensive software but if you don't have Photoshop that's not a problem in place of Photoshop you can use PicMonkey or Pixlr PicMonkey is a favorite these are free online photo editing sites you can use them in the web browser or some of these come as an app for iOS and Android devices as well and here are a few Pixlr PicMonkey be Funky, Creative Kit, iPicky, Sumo Paint, Pixlr Express, and Thumba. These are all free photo editing uh, websites. Now, you, when you're working with text, always be aware of the potential problem called font substitution. So, this will be a problem if uh, you're going to create a scrapbook page and not save that page as an image if it's just uh, if you're using PowerPoint and you're using a different font maybe that you downloaded from the internet just keep in mind that if you email that PowerPoint to someone else and they don't have that font it's not going to look the same So some tips for building a page is you can always add or take away anything before saving the page as an image. You can put more than one picture per page, such as a collage. Don't get stuck putting everything in the middle. Move things around and angle in different directions. Also make sure your color choice and design fit the theme or tone of your page. Some more scrapbook projects include BFF. This is a student favorite and allows for a lot of student creativity. Students can create family history, scrapbooks, personal journaling. You can even create some gift tags, end of the year friendship books, or personalized cards. Now most of us already have PowerPoint and actually PowerPoint is a great tool to create digital scrapbooking pages. It's great for beginners and younger students. This is something just about everyone is familiar with. We already have PowerPoint so no new software is needed. Slides can be used to create a scrapbook page. You can set the slides to any side. There's clip art readily available. You can insert graphics, sounds, and video. You can rotate, crop, and adjust pics. It's cross-platform, running on both PC and Macs. And you can animate pics and embellishments. Some disadvantages include the printing quality, which is considered low, but it gets the job done. There's not as many options and features compared to maybe Photoshop. Doesn't create layers but you can move images forwards or backwards creating a layered look. And these are just a few of my favorite freebie sites for digital scrapbooking uh, images. One is freedigitalscrapbooking.com, pixlerscrapper.com, and scrapbookflare.com. These are my top three.